simple way that a driver will use one of our stations is they'll go on to the ChargePoint Network website and they'll give us credit authorization and we'll send a key fob, a key fob like this. Uh, and that's what they'll use to go uh, open this door and start the charging process. During the charging process, the, the driver is not involved. They just plug in the car. The car will limit its own charging, will never overcharge the car. Uh, and we measure the energy all the time in order to reimburse whoever is paying for the electricity for all electric costs. So the driver only has a subscription. We pay all uh, other costs. We pay for maintenance of the stations. We reimburse, the, in this case, the city of San Jose for their electricity because we measure it. Uh, we put in controls that are required by the electric utilities to ensure that the grid is always safe and the load on the grid is moderated. Uh, and frankly, when we put in those controls, we get the best possible electric rates for the Do is pull the car up to the curb here, uh, come to the charging station with your key fob, swipe it, the door will unlock, and you'll open up the door and plug in the car, and then let the, the door close on the cable. The door will lock on the cable, holding it in place uh, for security purposes. Then when you're done charging, you return to your car, swipe the key fob again, will unlock the door, tell you about your charging cycle, you remove the cable and return it to the car. Network communications capabilities of the ChargePoint network make it unique among public charging infrastructures. The network is managed and controlled by a network operating system, a highly scalable, reliable, and distributed server and database hosted by a secure Tier 1 application hosting provider. The network operating system provides three main interfaces or portals by which various stakeholders use and manage the ChargePoint network. They are the subscriber portal, the host portal, and the utility portal. The subscriber portal is the public, consumer-oriented interface of the ChargePoint network operating system. Here we use the term subscriber to refer to the driver of an electric vehicle. He or she is the end consumer of the ChargePoint network's smart charging stations. To sign up for service, a subscriber points a standard web browser at the subscriber portal's web address mychargepoint.net. On the Sign Up tab, the subscriber enters her name, address, and password, along with additional contact information. Next, the subscriber can choose among several categories of charging plans, such as nighttime charging, grid-friendly charging, and anytime charging. Finally, the subscriber enters her credit card information for payment. Once the account has been created, the subscriber can log in to view or change account information. She can also view usage reports containing details about her charging history, along with estimates of fuel savings and greenhouse gas savings. A popular feature of the subscriber portal allows a subscriber to find all charging stations along a route. The subscriber enters a starting point and an ending point, and the system displays a Google map with the route and the nearby charging stations. Here we see the power of the communications network, which enables the server to know which charging stations are available and which are currently occupied. As a benefit to both subscribers and hosts, the subscriber portal has a feature which allows subscribers to request a new charging station at a specific location. Coulomb aggregates these requests and provides this information to hosts, informing them of where their customers would like to see additional charging stations. The subscriber simply enters the address and clicks Request Charger Location. The host portal is the means by which an owner can provision, activate, and manage his charging stations, all through a simple, convenient web interface. Upon logging into the system, a host will see only his charging stations. The stations are displayed by logical group, which can be any collection of stations defined by the host for his convenience. The home page, shown here, provides a summary of the host's charging stations, along with the number of units that are currently idle, in use, out of service, etc. Clicking on an individual charging station provides additional details about that station. Among the information available is the physical address of the station and month-to-date performance and usage data. Here the system displays the station's utilization electricity dispensed, and the uptime. The host can also view monthly reports through the host portal. 
These reports provide the occupancy rate, revenue generated, and uptime for each group of charging stations, along with the bottom line total. The revenue generated by a smart lid is a function of its occupancy. A substantial portion of the subscription revenue is reimbursed to the host to help pay for electricity, routine maintenance, and capital investment in the station itself. The utility portal is the third main interface into the ChargePoint network operating system. Here, Coulomb Technologies is ahead of the curve in providing responsible load shedding capability to the utilities, anticipating the future demand presented by electric vehicles. Once an authorized agent of the utility logs into the system, he is presented with a map of his service areas. Clicking on a service area will display the current load in that area, along with a measure of how much of that load can be shed under conditions of extreme demand. To shed the load in a given service area, the authorized utility simply selects the service area and clicks the Shed Load button. The network operating system then issues a command to all of the smartlets in the area to suspend charging of those subscribers who have selected the grid-friendly plan. Such subscribers pay a lower subscription fee in exchange for allowing the utility to temporarily suspend charging when the load on their system reaches extreme levels. 